So alright guys, welcome back to the channel and yep, new haircut and I kinda shaved. Uh, I did say to you guys if I'm gonna keep the goatee, but it has been so long just now I look like a hobo. So I had to cut it down for now, but I'll grow it back, but I'll keep it trimmed up so it's not going to be too long. And about the hair, yes, it has been really really hot uh, lately here in where I live. So I can't really stand the heat with the long hair, so I, I'll, I just cut it down. So yeah, hopefully it looks better. So you know what guys, I actually did this before on recording for today's video, but the voice, all the sound was all broken. So I'll have to redo it right now. Well minus the arena part since I used all the orbs just now. So I'll go straight into Colossio. So today's video is gonna be about Galtier on Colosseum. He turns out to be a really really good unit for it, surprisingly. So I'll show you guys my units here. This is the units that I use for Colosseum. And I'll just show you guys the squad right away. So this will be my leader, uh, I mean my attacking squad. So I'll be using a Galtier lead here. Enhancements. My Mifune enhancements, my other Mifune enhancements and everything. I will be only using Mifunes for my attacking squad but for my defense I will not use him since I really want all of my defense units having an angel idol kind of thing on them so my chances on winning should be higher than usual. Alright, that's it for my attacking squad. This will be my defense squad. And Galtier turns out to be a really good unit as well for defense. But as a subunit and you have to put him on top there. Because he really helps you with uh, filling BB gauge for your other units. And that is really helpful. But sometimes it's kind of hard to get his BB gauge filled. But it's always, as always on Colosseum, everything is RNG. So you can't hope to be having that one specific unit you want to get hit, to get hit all the time. So sometimes it will not even get hit. So this is the game of RNG. Let's leave it to RNG for everything. So yep, that's it, my squad. Uh, and about the battle formation and support thing, uh, I think you guys need to find that out yourself because uh, you will change it from time to time. It's not gonna be, you're not gonna be using that same battle formation or support thing all the time. You gotta change because every time you're gonna meet a different kind of enemy. So you'll, you'll have to adapt and change. All right, let's just go into battle now. Hopefully I can meet Junoseto and show you guys the effect. And actually there's one more really annoying enemy here on Colosseum, which is Terry Bogard. Uh, I really hate it when I meet him, but it's still winnable. It is still winnable. Everything is still winnable. My previous, oh, uh, why is it? Who's this guy again? I really forgot this guy's name. Okay, Golzo. <laughs> My previous uh, Colosseum lead was Fizz and I really hated that because uh, she make all my units have an AOE effect and most of the time that AOE effect helped out the enemy in the end. So it's not helping me in the end. So I really hated that. And I really prefer to go with a single hitting, single target hitting normal attacks for my first attacking round. Because I really want to minimize all the enemies' BB gauge filling up. And by that, I can still kill one or two units on the first turn and then get the rest of them on the second turn. That's how it works. So I really want to avoid all those AoEs. Except for Mifunes. Okay, I still have two units alive and... Okay, let me win this one.
Okay, I'll be dead for now. Okay, I'm dead, but I think I still win this round. Yes, this happens because I lost there on the support set thing and I didn't have any BB gauge at the beginning. So yep, I just won the first one. Uh, what was I talking about last time? Oh, Mifune's. You can use Mifune's and you can make him uh, have that AOE effect. So if you use Fizz as lead and you still have 4 Mifune's as your subunit, that's still gonna work. But... <clears throat> If you're facing a Juno Seto, that could screw you up because Juno Seto has that passive lead where you can have that Angel Idol proc. So if you are unlucky and still have a few of them alive, you could die. You could lose and that is bad. Alright, it's not Juno Seto but I can still at least show you guys how good this guy is on Colosseum. Oh, okay, this could be bad since I have their Selena. Okay, this is bad. Well, I still have at least four units alive here. So, yeah. Win this one, yes. Well, hopefully I can still kill them uh, at least one unit on the second round here on defense. Alright, I win the support set, the battle formation, so I should be able to kill at least one of them. Okay, fill him up. Yes. Nice. I win this one, but I think barely. Just barely. It's not a perfect victory, but still a win. Even if this Selena kills all my unit right now, I'm still gonna win. Okay, I still win in the end, so... Okay. Let's try one more time, shall we? Okay, it's not Genoseto, but it is Terry Bogart, which is still one of the most annoying enemy here on Colosseum. I really hate it sometimes. To face this guy. Not sometimes, a lot of times. Most of the time, yeah. But I really rarely see, see this guy on Colosseum. But if I do... I kind of hated it, really hated it. Kill him please, in one hit, in one hit, yes. Mifunes. Well anyways, try not to use too many Mifunes because I know he hits really hard, but if you are facing Juno Seto or Tari Bogart just like now, it could really be bad since he only hit once and if the Angel Idol from Juno Seto Prox or the one damage from Terry Bogart Prox. You could be in deep, deep shite. Yeah, I'm telling you, it could be really, really bad for you. So that is why I'm trying to limit my use of Mifunes. I really need his burst damage, but at the same time, I really don't kind of need it since he does not have that Angel Idol on him. And for Colosseum here, Angel Idol is really, really a good one to have. So okay, if even if this one, if even if he kills all my units here, I'm still gonna win. So yes. I'm gonna try one more until I find Juno Seto so I can show you guys about this Galtier guy being really, really good for Colosseum. Well, never mind. I kind of get the same Galtier here on Colosseum, so let's just see how this one goes. Mirror match. Kill! Kill! Yes, kill. And ho luckily, luckily, their Selena does not get their BB gauge filled up, so I can still kill them all on this one. Okay, this could be bad. There's still one lingering uh, Gabriela there. Whoa, nice! Lucky me! She does not use her BB right there, so yes. Yes, attack for the win. Attack for the win. Yay. Mirror match.
Okay, this time I do not have my BB gauge. So I can be in really, really big trouble here. Yep, nobody's filling their BB gauge. But at least let me just try to kill one of them. Ow! Ow! Okay, it's a wipeout. Well, if you guys wanted to use that same um, squad setting as the enemy there, it's kind of it's actually kind of good to use as well. So you can take some reference from this one. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, why it is really bad to have an AOE effect on normal hits for your attacking squad. Look at that. Everyone got filled, but lucky for him, none of them uses their SBB. So he's kind of safe by that. Let's see about this one. Okay, I win. Oh, come on, Jun yes, finally, Juno Seto. After a lot of tries, finally, Juno Seto. And I kind of lost one in the way. Okay, no AoE so far. So <clears throat> he kind of lost on the support set. So he does not get any BB gauge on them. Five gems, she is gonna use her SPB and take one or two of my units, especially Mifune's. No? Alright, that is good. That is a good sign. Bye bye, Mizerka. See ya. See you later. Okay, now defense. Fight my Junoseto, please. If my Azurai here uses his BB, I'm gonna kill a few of them and probably win this one. Alright, I win. So yes, Azurai is still the MVP here. But as you guys can see, having a Galtier lead for your attacking squad is really, really good. He's surprisingly really good for Colossium here. And I really like him for this. So yeah, I guess that's all. Well, for Colosseum, there's one thing that I really want to say to you guys. You can't win on everything. Most of them are based on RNG. So even if you have all those Angel Idol units in your units, and even if you have the, uh, Gautier or Terry Bogart's Leader Scale or maybe Juno Setos, it sometimes does not proc. So it can't proc all the time. So you gotta win some, you gotta lose some that's normal but at least i hope you guys really have fun on arenas or colosseum while it's raining really hard outside right now so it may all go in here well one last thing before i go uh if you guys still want to try to summon for galtier today will be the last day to try for it so if you guys do good luck to you guys and i guess that's all for today i really hope you guys are entertained with this video uh, don't forget to press that like button down below if you guys are. And if you're still new to my channel or you have not subscribed yet, uh, press this fun button over here and join the fun train. But for now, I think that's all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So see ya. Bye bye. Cheers.